Okay. Uh, we're going to look at stereochemistry. Uh, stereochemistry, when you talk about stereochemistry, is basically a branch of chemistry, which is concerned with the three dimensions arrangement of atom and molecules. And it also deals about the effect of this chemical reaction, but mainly today's, well, today we're going to focus mainly about the, the three dimension arrangement of atom or BIA molecules. Ah, when you talk of stereochemistry, we need to do a little bit of introduction. I think if I remember, if I recall very well, in junior high school, we learned about uh, what an isomer is, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. From our basic understanding of isomers, isomers, these are different compounds which have the same molecular formula or be I can say which have the same uh, formula built and basically we have got two isomers which are constitutional isomers and stereo isomers to, to, to differentiate these two constitutional isomers uh, these are different compounds or, or these are different isomers that have the same molecular formulas but they differ in their connectivity. When you go down, we're going to see which when you, when you talk about connectivity, we talk about the sequence in which their atoms are bonded together. Then stereo isomers, these differ only in the arrangement of their atom in space. Our main concern, our main focus this evening, it will be this part. Uh, we have to know what enantiomere is, derastromere, and epimere. I remember very well the time we were learning this at the faculty. They never taught us stereochemy. We just went in live without knowing this. But you have been, you have a privilege to learn this before. Before I talk about the isomeric, the the certain monosaccharides. We're just as we're just being told, we're just being told, fructose and glucose. These are isomer. This and this, this are what, and they had to pass. But with you, I think I just thought about it, and I saw it in one of uh, examination question for medicine. Yeah, that's why I had to stop and take a look at it. Yeah. What is a stereo isomer? And sorry, let me mention this. Uh, the names, they don't differ in French. They don't differ very much. Yeah, it's just the pronunciation which normally differs. Then the spelling, the spelling, they just add accent. Then here, are you able to see this? Uh, yes, we are. You're able to see, yeah. Like for example, let's take for instance for enantiomer. They just put e. They just put e here. Then they don't put s. So they don't differ very much. Don't get worried. And that, that's how they. Okay, stereoisomer. These are compound with the same connectivity, but they differ in the arrangement in space. We're going to look at that. When you talk about natural mayor, these are stereoisomer. 
that are non superposed that are non imposable image mirror image and their property differ in direction which we say a plus or more we'll talk about the optical rotation does we go down then the the resume these are stereo that are not mirror images but they differ they have got different compound with different physical and chemical properties are we together yes. sorry um, please repeat yourself okay in nanosomer these are these are stereoisomer that are non i just wait just wait a minute just wait just wait just wait a minute okay Okay, I think I was. Well, when I talk about non somer, okay, I think I was. When I talk about non somer, these are stereoisomer that are non super impossible mirror images when we talk about mirror images let's take for instance in your hands a bit like the way you did before okay you take your hands these and these this this hand left hand and right hand then a mirror this is a mirror when you place this left hand this is an object what reflects to you what reflects back to you is an image when you say left and right are non so superimposable what what are you simply means when you put your hands together like in this picture you see this picture here yes when when you put your hands together the fingers the in opposite i don't know what to call this 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 and this i don't know the names of these fingers i can lie yeah but when you but the concept which i'm trying to be now when you put them together they are in opposite direction they are none they are not superposed so i'm using french I'm, I'm used to this word yeah they are not they are none superposed they are not these are these are this is an object this is the its image when you put an object or you reflect an object to a mirror its image its image or or short which which, which way can i use okay when i talk about symmetry i'll talk about symmetry on the down part i want to use symmetry at the moment yeah that's what we call superposition it, talk, it talks about superposition 
when you put your fingers together if they they don't if they are not equal so to say or if they are not placed in the same manner that they differ the right the left and right hand side let me get let me give you an example for a lead you get a lead for melinda let's let's take two leads for melinda you place them together they, they will close up isn't it yeah yeah if yeah. they close if they close up which means they are uh superposable if they don't they are non superposable So when you talk about Nansumea, when you talk about Nansumea, these are stereoisomere that are non superposable mirror images. Am I clear on non-somers? Sorry? Yes, it's clear. Yeah, then that's from here. These are stereoisomers that are not mirror images. then they differ most of the compound of diastromia they differ in their chemical and physical properties am i clear on this one can you just repeat what you said okay diastromia these are stereoisomers that are not mirror images and they differ most of the compound they differ in physical and chemical properties i repeat uh, so what you're trying to say is that um anatomies in dissection they are the uh, yeah, uh, just an isomer they're just like images mirror images they're not like real things they're just images that you see from the mirror or there's one that's just a reflection of it sorry repeat what you said i'm saying and not uh, that word uh -huh. And antiomeres, the same things. You're trying to say they're just mirror images, meaning the actual thing. Yeah, they're mirror not, images. They're just like images. I, yeah, mirror but, images. Let's take left and right. Uh -huh. Left, your left hand and your right hand. They're mirror images, Nespa. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what you mean is that they look alike. Okay. Yeah. So it's not like the actual mirror that you put your left on you see you put your left hand you see your left hand uh, on the mirror then that's the anasan thing. No. It's just you talking about that they look alike, they complement each other. They complement each other, yeah. Okay. But they are non superposable. If you put them like when you put them together, like I give you an example of uh, a lid of a bottle. Two similar, you get two similar bottles, you get two lids, then you close them up. You find that they will fill the whole gap. That is that. Those are those we call them. They are super 
superposable. But if they don't fill the empty spaces, they are non superposable. That's the simplest thing I can talk about. That's a non to mirror. Then diastro mirror. These are not mirror images. It's the opposite of this one. These are not mirror images. Diastro mirror. They are stereoisomer, mirror, but they are not mirror images. And the compound, they differ in the physical and chemical properties. Ah, uh, Kondon, you raise your hand. Ah, uh, sorry, that was a mistake. Ah. Uh, then, to summarize this, uh, to summarize this, or we'll summarize it in this, in this form, yeah, an isomer, which these are different compounds with the same molecular formula or uh, formula brute. Then we have got two types of anisomers, constitutional and stereoisomer. When we talk about constitutional, we are going to dwell much on this one. Then the 3D arrangement will talk it at uh, 3D arrangement will talk about Fisher on this one. Yeah, constitutional isomer, these are isomer having atom bonded to different different atoms or element still isomer uh these are isomer with difference in 3d arrangement only we're going to look at it down then i gave you an example i i talked about a an an antomer and the di Diastromer, which of which I said an anisomer. These are Im mirror images, but they are non superposable. Then I talk about a diastromer, which are stereoisomer, but not in mirror images. And I've got different physical and chemical properties pertaining to the compound you're looking at. I repeat or I proceed? Repeat. Repeat. Okay. I said, we've got two different types of isomer, of which I said an isomer is, is a different, is a different compound with the same molecular formula or formula brute. Then on Isomers, we have got two types, which are constitutional isomer and stereo isomer. Constitutional isomer, these are isomer having atom bonded to different atoms. Then stereo isomer, these are isomer with a difference in 3D arrangement only, of which I talked about a, a nansomer and a diastromer. A diastromer, I said, these are stereo isomer that are non-superposable mirror images. Then diastromer, these are not 
mirror images. There are stereoisomer which are not mirror images. Then different compound that have got different chemical and physical properties when you talk about diastromer. Should I repeat? Yeah. Hmm? Ah, we. Okay. Then we'll talk about nanosomer and Kira molecules. We'll talk about Kira Vite. I think you have heard of this. I've heard of Kirarite. I uh, have not learned, but I think it's the first time. When you talk about Kirarite, Kirarite, it simply, it comes, it simply means a hand. Kirarite simply means a hand. And it's, it's a concept of a uh, general geometric which goes beyond uh shimi organic orga which goes beyond shimi organic organic shimi yeah when you talk about clarity i'll repeat when you talk about clarity clarity seems means a hand and clarity it's a concept of geometric, of general geometric, which goes beyond shimmy uh, organic, organic shimmy yeah, in English. And a kira molecule is a molecule that is not identical, it's mirror When you talk about a killer molecule, we're talking about a molecule that is not identical with its mirror image. Let's take, for instance, a hand. I'll, I'll come back to a hand since we, we had earlier on mentioned that a hand, when you talk about killerity, we're talking about the hand. Let's talk about the hand. If you want to, if you want to say this molecule is kira or bia non kira, what do we do? What, what do you have to know? Of which the, the rule is down, but I'll, I'll just mention it. When you talk about a right hand, right hand and the left hand, you place a mirror. This is an object. We'll take this as an image. When you press a mirror, you get your right, left hand, you press a mirror. What you're going to see is going to reflect uh, the right hand image. And we'll say, that molecule is kira or if a molecule no let me not go too far let me not go too far with that explanation i will explain it down yeah just look at your left hand place your left hand you can take a look at your left hand and your right hand they are identical when you press them on the mirror. Sorry. They are not identical. Sorry, I, I used identical. Sorry, sorry, so for that. They are not identical with its mirror image. Then the molecule is clear. So I used, 
identical. They are not identical. If you look at this hand, you place it on the mirror. They are not identical. When you get to hands, Am I clear on this one? Hello? Hello? On my part, I understand you. I don't know about the others. Yeah, when you talk about chirality, we're just talking about a geometrical, a general geometrical concept that goes beyond organic chemistry, organic chemistry. And I said chirality simply means a hand. It, it comes from a Greek word, I've forgotten the word, which simply means a hand. And when you, when you come to chirality, we talk about two things. We talk about kira, a kira molecule, and akira. Akira, they just put uh, Akira, they just put A on here, on this part on it. Okay. On this part where it says Kira. For Akira, they put A and L. Akira. And I said a, a Kira molecule is a molecule that is not identical with its mirror image. And an Akira molecule, the opposite is true for a Akira. You get the concept? What I mean the opposite is true for a Akira. Akira molecule is a molecule which is identical with its mirror image. That's what I mean the opposite is true for Killer molecule. And boys, I think I've my examples younger grid. Okay. Let's consider the three dimensional drawing of two butanol. This is a molecule. Have you seen this molecule? Yes. I think you, are, yes, you know yes. how to name this. Yeah. This, we place a mirror here in between. When you place a mirror, you get, this one is going to, is going to reflect and they are going to get the image, which is this one. This hydrogen, it will be here. Then the hydroxide function group, it will be this side. Hello? Yes, I'm able to get you. Yeah, the hydroxide function group is this side. And remember the definition of in nansome, what is the nansome? It's a, a mirror image which is not, which is non super impossible. The image which is non super possible. That's true. So an answer, may, let's say, let's take this, the way it is, we place it here. Is it, is it going to be superposable here? You see how there's an hydroxyl function group here, which will come here, which will be non superposable with this image. Then an hydrogen will go at an hydroxyl function group. Then the rest will be okay, but they will differ here, which will become this, this and this will become what? Nansomer. 
because they are non superposed are, are we together hmm? hello hello yes we are yes, together boss. We, we are together they will become non superposable that's what they're trying to say here then we're going to concentrate on a tetra hydro carbon atom uh, for this me. one sorry. i have a question yeah um can you like scroll back again like the previous page maybe okay Okay, so from here, the definition of a diastereomer is that it is not a mirror image, not so. And then... Yeah, diastereomer. Yeah, and then according to the definition of a chiral molecule is that it is one that is not identical with its mirror image. So what's the difference between a chiral molecule and in a diastereomer? Ah, that's from a, a that's from a, I said is a stereo, stereo isomer, of which I said a stereo isomer. These are compound, these are different compound with the same connectivity, but they differ, they've got, they differ into, they differ the arrangement of what? The arrangement in space. Of the of the oh they have got different arrangement in space. And I dash from here, these are not mirror image and their compound differ in physical and chemical properties. When it comes to a Kira molecule, first and foremost, I said I, I mentioned about chirality. Of which I said a chirality, chirality seems simply comes from a Greek word. I've forgotten the word. A Greek word, which simply means hand. And chirality is a general geometric concept which goes beyond organic chemistry. Then on chirality, we have got two, two things, which I talk about a chira molecule, which is simply a molecule that is not identical with its mirror image. And I talked about an akira molecule, which identical with its mirror image. Have you gotten the difference? Yes, thank you. On a camera first. Because I thought that like when something is not identical with its mirror image, that is for a cure molecule, and then the diastereoma, the definition is that it is not a mirror image, so. I thought the definitions mean one and the same thing, despite bearing different names. Ah, no, no. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Any other question before we proceed? All right, uh, just on the same thing. Um, mm -hmm. Is it that uh, diastroma, diastromas diastromia. are... Diastromia. Uh, oh, yeah, diastromia. diastromia, diastromias are... Uh, compounds wow sheer uh, molecules are molecules or they, ca they can also be a sheer compound yeah they can also be a compound
So now, what's the difference? Like you, you get a, a diastromia compound and the Shira compound. What's the difference? But what's a difference when you get? Yeah, you said that they can also be a Shira compound. Since there, you've only mentioned, you've only talked of a Shira, Shira molecule. Now, what can be the difference between the diastromere and the Shira compound? Since the diastromere, I'm saying it says stereo, 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 which we are defining stereo, to be a compound. Stereo isomere. Yeah, stereo isomere, which we are defining to be a compound, which means even a diastromere is a compound. Now, since you said that there can also be a Shira compound, now what can be the difference between a diastromia and a Shira compound? That's my question. Okay. I'll show you the difference as when you look at the, the examples. Or, oh, so to say, to, to clear you, but I, I know you need to see an example. When you talk about, I didn't mention this, sorry, I didn't mention this. When you talk about the anantomer, it contains a Kira center. It contains a Kira center that are none superposable. Then when you talk about a dust, a diastromer, they contain a Kira center. That are non superposable but out mirror images. Come again. I'll repeat myself. When you talk about a non tumor, when you talk about a non tumor, they contain a Kira molecule or a Kira, Kira centers that are non superposable and are mirror images. I repeat myself. When you talk about an antomer, they contain Kira centers that are non superposable and are mirror images. Then when you talk about a diastromer, they contain Kira centers that are non superposable but are not mirror images. Uh, so you're yeah, saying that both uh, anantomeres and diastromas they contain kiras. They contain it. Yeah, they contain kiras. Kira centers. Oh, kira centers. So it's not like the other one contains our kira or the other one is just all of them. They do contain them, but it's just that the difference is the other one. It's a mirror. All of them. Image, the other one is non-mirror images. Not a mirror image. Okay, I'm looking at this. All right. I, Okay, on here, we're going to concentrate on this part. We're not going to talk about uh, 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 head. Sorry, yeah. you're coming? Excuse me, I have a question. Yeah? 
Yeah, an example uh, B is that an example of an mayor or a diastero mayor. Which one? Which example? This one, uh, one and two. One and two? Yes. This and this? Yeah. These are natural mayors. Yeah. I, I talked about the definition of an natural mayor, isn't it? Yes, on the definition. Of what did I say about the natural mayor? They are non-superposable. If you try to bring these here, you find that this hydroxyl functional group is going to go on the hydrogen atom here. The hydrogen atom here is going to go on hydroxyl function group, which are going to make them non superposable and they qualify to the definition of non -tomer. I proceed. Yeah. Then on this part, we're going to, I already talked about a tetrahydro, I talked about a tetrahydrocarbon, isn't it? The other name of a tetrahydrocarbon is asymmetric carbon. You remember, do you remember? Yes. Yeah, with, it's an atom with four different groups attached to it. It's simply an asymmetric carbon like this. This one, this one. Now, take, when you say about texture, we, talk, we are talking about these things here. Yeah, that's what I'm simply talking about. Let me see. We'll talk about the general condition or the text of chilality. We'll talk, we'll talk about the plane of symmetry. So there are certain rules which to follow. You need to, to know these rules. If a model, a model is simply this one, which is in the texture hydro, hydrocarbon form, this is a model. If a model are superposable, the molecule that are represented is Akira. Take note of this. If the non superposable, the molecule which is present is Akira. Hello? Yeah, we can understand this. I can yeah. understand. Here now we can understand. Actually, for us, we used to make a lot of we used to have a lot of difficulties whenever to identify this scene. But for since we went direct, we didn't learn them, so we had to start them on our own. That's when we had found out. So if the the model are uh, superposable, and I talked about superpos superposition, isn't it? The molecule that are represented are Akira. Then the opposite is true for a Kira molecule. Then the presence of a single tetrahydro center molecules Akira. This one I didn't mention. The presence of a plane of symmetry, Akira molecule. You know what a plane of symmetry is? 
I know you can just explain it to me or forgot me. Yeah? For me, I've forgotten. You can just explain it to me. I don't know about others. Anyone who knows a plane of symmetry? Is indeed where you can draw a line to cut the, uh, something in two equal parts and they complement each other. Exactly. You can Is repeat. That a line of symmetry? Sorry? So a line of symmetry and the plane of symmetry are the same because I think the, the, the definition given is for a line of symmetry. I didn't get what you said. No, I'm asking to say, is it that the definition given is for a, a plane of symmetry or a line of symmetry? The definition which you said, I'm not getting you, the network is kind of... My question is that the definition that the, the person that is just speaking has given, is it not for a line of symmetry or it's a one that's for a plane of symmetry? I'm kind of confused. When you talk about the plane of symmetry, we simply divide it, we simply say uh, dividing the crystals into two parts that are mirror images. As he said, just talk about dividing something into two different parts, like they have done here. They have cut this part. You can see. They have cut this part. As you can see, they're trying to cut this part. And if you cut, you're able to bring them back they, or they complement each other. And we say that we can say that molecule is a Akira. The molecule is Akira. Or a plane of symmetry is also is also known as a mirror plane. So this when you talk about the plane of symmetry. You imagine, you have to, to imagine a plane that is beset a molecule in such a way that the two molecules are mirror images of each other. You have to imagine, you have to look at the molecule. Then you say, if I cut this molecule, let's, let's, get, let's get for instance, let me imagine, if I cut this molecule, I beset it. Are these molecules going to look the exactly the same? If those molecules are mirror image of each other, when you imagine when you imagine of a plane of symmetry, if they look exactly to each other or they complement each other, we're going to say that molecule is what? Akira. Am I clear? Yes. Hello? Okay, let me continue. Uh, I also talk of something which is not here. Sorry, sorry, I, I didn't mention it. I didn't mention all this earlier on. I'll talk about an epimere. Epimere, we write it as E, P, M, E, R, S. Epimere, we write it as E, P, I M E R S. That's in English. Then in French, 
where where I've ended where this arrow you put E S classed. You just add E like I earlier on told you. Epimere. When you talk about epimere, these are two isomers with different configuration of atom. Is it clear? Can you just repeat the definition so quickly? Of an epi of an epimere. Yes. An epimere. An epimere. These are two isomeres with different configuration of atom. When you talk about different configuration of atom, we talk about several asymmetric carbon atom present in the molecule. That's what I, I simply mean when I talk about they have got different configuration of atom. About one of several asymmetric carbon atom present. Is it clear? Then epimere would you can take a look about you can take a look uh these two structures d glucose and d galactose of which we, we know these are monosaccharide we looked at them last time. i said take look take a look about take a look at the glucose and galactose. D is a configuration in which, I, which I talked about. You know how to, to identify D configuration and the L, isn't it? Yes, yes. 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 Okay. That's what an epimere is. But don't worry, in the notes, everything is there. Yeah, then we'll talk about the, which other one? Isomere or function. When you talk about the isomere of function, well, we're talking about glucose and fructose of which in the first, second coup, I earlier mentioned of glucose, it has got a function of an aldehyde. Then fructose, it has got a function of ketone, which is ketone in French. Do you remember that? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes we do. Yeah, when you talk, when you talk, when you talk, when you talk, when we just someone said isome the function, that's no the function they're talking about is out the head and ketone. And the the things like the 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 isomer I told you to master amongst the monosaccharide, which is gruco and fructose. These are Isomer, you need to master. You need to master by head. Their structures, you need to know them. I showed you time. So I've talked about an epimere. We've talked about an isomer. Isomer or function. Function of isomer in isomer the function. function the action of isomer, epimere, diastromere, enantomere. We have talked about these four, isn't it? Yeah. Before I go further, should I repeat about what we have talked? Should I repeat everything we have looked at so far? 
Yes. Hmm? Yes, you can just try and go back. Okay. I'll be slow. I started first and foremost. I I talked about what stereo chemi is, of which I said stereo chemi is a branch of chemistry that deals or that is concerned with the three dimension arrangement of atoms and molecules and their effect on the chemical reaction. But I said on this school. Mainly, what you have to know, what you have to keep in your head, you have, uh, uh, is is about the three-dimension arrangement of atom and molecules. I talked about a stereoisomer, of which I said these are different compounds with the same connectivity, but they've got different arrangement in space. I talked about an isomer of which I said these are different compounds with the same molecular formula or their formula but they differ in what? Uh, in structures, the way they appear. And I said on isomer, we have got two types, constitutional, Isomer and stereo isomer. Constitutional isomer. These are isomer having atom bonded to different atoms. Stereo isomer. These are isomer with three. These are isomer with a three-dimension argument only. Uh, and on a stereoisomer, I've got two types, a nonsomer and diastromer. A nonsomer, this is a mirror image. The other one is not a mirror image. I went further, I talk about clarity. I said clarity seems to come from a Greek word. Uh, if I remember the Greek word, I will, I, will, I will let you know. A Greek word, which simply means a hand. And clarity is just a general concept which goes beyond uh, organic chemistry. Then we talk about clarity, there are two types. We talk about a Kira molecule and a, and a Akira molecule. A Kira molecule is the one that is not identical with its mirror image of which I told you to look at your hands. I gave an practical example of your hand. And we said it is a Kira molecule. When you get a left hand and the right hand, you place, you look at them, you find that it is, it is a Kira molecule because it is not identical with the, which is the right hand. Then Akira molecule, these mirror images. Uh, after that, After that, I talked about the, the general condition you need to know, of which I talked about the superposability of a model of a molecule and its mirage, which is, we can do, its mirage, we can simply talk about the, 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 the image which is being produced. 
if a model has superposed the molecule that is being represented is a killer and if it's not it's accurate when you talk then i went further i talk about the plane of symmetry of which i talked about uh, of which i said the plane of symmetry we talk about imaginary plane that is set you have divided it you have divided a molecule in such in such a way that two molecule when you divide them when you bring them back or you separate them back, they are going to complement each other. They're going to be the same. That's just imaginary. Looking at the molecule, you imagine like here, like, like the way it is here. Somebody was just imagining, you see this line. This is just a reflection of somebody imagining of a plane of symmetry. From there, I talked about isomé de function. Function of isomers, of which I said, when you talk about the function of isomer, we should always remember about the simple monosaccharide, which are glucose and fructose. They differ in their function which I said glucose carries an outhead bond or function on the first carbon. Then fructose carries an carries a certain bond or ketone bond on the second carbon. What else di di dimension? This is what I said so far. Is it clear? Hello? Yes, it's fine. Yeah. I think Daliso sent you the sent you the, the protocol for organic organic chemistry. Yes, it did. Yeah. Can you try to open on page? What's that page? What's that page? Yeah. Page 90, 95, 96. If you have, you can, before you sleep, just go through there. And I'm just trying to, to make you Record the names in French or see the names in French. So find Maya and Kiradite when you open that page, I guess, but it's 90 something. Then we're going to talk about the biological importance of of Kiradite, you know, this phenomenon of Kiradite. Yeah, biology in, in, in the biology perspective they say human body is structural killer yeah, and it's been proved is structural killer uh two more these are not these are not important. These are not important. So to say. Just wanted to say one. These are not important. Don't bother. Oh. Ah, this is a configuration X. Okay. So, oh, boys, I've got a question. Okay. Yeah. Hello? Yes. Yeah. So, 
Uh, it is the structures that we learn when we talk about their relationship to the uh, general function of the human body. That's uh, all about biochemistry, not so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, uh, can you talk about, like, uh, how can I put this? Are there any practical uh, examples, like, how we can see these things in action? I don't know if that's the right question to ask. To when the human body are naturally here. Hello? I'm asking you. Sorry? On the point yeah, there is that the human body are naturally killer. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah. Can you explain again? Ah, uh, on that one, what can I use as an example on that one? Uh, which example can I use? Hmm. Okay. If I think of an example, I'll tell you. Yeah, then we'll jump on to 3D arrangement of the things we're talking about. 3D arrangement, when you talk about the 3D, three dimensional arrangement of atom and molecules, it takes us back to projection de fissure. You have heard of projection de fissure before don't get confused projection the fish here though i'm going to do with you i'm i'm going to do it here but you need to know projection the cram then you when you come when when you do cram you have to know projection the new man new man then that's when you come and do the last one. Okay, but I, I can make, I can make, I can try by all means to make you understand this. Projection to fissure, we, when you talk about fissure, we normally talk about the 3D arrangement, three dimension arrangement of atom of molecules, or molecules, sorry. As you are seeing this, you are able to visualize them, Nespa? See? Yeah, 3D uh, dimension. So, have you seen this molecule? Yes, yes, yes. We are looking at we are looking this molecule from this part. What do you see? You are seeing this one. One, two, four. And three, isn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah. You are viewing this molecule from this angle. Yeah, first thing you are seeing, you are seeing this one, two, the other one behind, arrière, avant, arrière, avant, then this one. Oh, Aria is simply behind. Then this one, it's Kuno, front. So how do you place them? The rules. The carbon or the element which is supposed to be here on top, the two which is here, it must be an oxidized element. The element is supposed to be placed here. It must be an oxidized element here. Then, the, the element you are seeing in this part, you are seeing this, when you, when you, are, you, when you, are, when you are, when you are this side, you are viewing an, a molecule from, you are viewing a molecule from this part. You are here. 
the first thing you're able to see is this one and this one. One and two. You put them one to the left. That's the first thing you see. Then the oxidized element, you put it here. Okay. Yeah, guys, guys, you never do Sumachaichan, Maizwa, Newman. So, Kuli Permetilization. Yeah, Permetilation. In English, Permetilation. So, Sumachai Newman. It will be a little bit hard for me to explain to you. Okay, permutation. Okay. Oh, do I have new man? Guys, I think on this part you can go, you can get confused. Can I do new man? Allow me to do to to talk about new man nakram. Then that's when you can do Fisher. Okay, okay, let me use this as an example. Maybe you try to understand. Uh, you can explain to us uh, the first uh, concept, then you build up. I don't okay. know, that's my, that's my idea. Okay. I don't know about okay. that. Okay, sure. Let's take this molecule. Have you seen this molecule? This is a carbon asymmetry. It is carrying four different constituents or four different atoms. It's bonded to four different atoms. This is a carbon, this is a carbon asymmetry. Have you seen this molecule? And they are viewing a molecule from this side. Then this one, where I see into my dot 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 dot. This is area that is behind. You are unable to see it it's behind. That's why you see it to my dot, 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 dot. Then this one, which is avant, before, before this one, you will find they represent it in this form. Amagamba avant in French, avant, aria. So take note of these two. Take note of these two. Area and avon, and take note where you are viewing your, your molecule from. So you are viewing your molecule from this angle. What do you see first? You are going to see this one and this one, this molecule. Then this one. But last, when you rotate, that's when you are going to see this molecule. Are we together? Yes. Yes, we're together. Okay. The rule of Fisher. The, you, you have to look at the elements which are which have been given here. You look at which one is oxidized. It's the last one. Eh? Uh, would you be so kind to repeat what you just said? Uh, it's like I have network problem here. Ah, okay. This is a carbon asymmetry, which is bonded to four different atom or elements. You have to take note of this. This one, aka black, this one in black. This is avant, before. That's how they present it here. Before. Then this with dot, 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 which means the element is behind area. We are unable to see the element. Are you getting me? Yes. The one was, yeah, yeah, you are unable to see the, this element. When you are viewing an element from this angle, what are you going to see? You are going to see this one. This is an hydroxyl. 
you are going to see this one which is this one you are going to see the one which is avon a then the last one which is area then get me clear here the carbon the carbon chain the carbon chain this carbon you have to represent it on the vertical vertical line so here there is carbon pakati apa here where there is cross here there is carbon then what were you seeing in the first place we saw an an hydroxyl function group we are viewing it from this side we saw an hydroxyl function group which is here you come here what did you see next you saw you saw an hydrogen then you saw this one which is an highest uh, uh, highest oxidized carbon element on this molecule which is this one you put it on top always remember the highest oxidized carbon must be on top then the last one but not the least the alia you are unable to see this one you put it for down then there are certain instances there are certain instances where you find where you find that the highest carbon or the highest oxidized atom in in a in 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 a in a compound maybe is placed here maybe let's say this one is placed here where there is hydrogen then hy hydrogen is here then this compound is placed here what do we do then you what do you do when they say draw a fischer projection of a lactic acid what do you do we have to go under we have to go a process of uh permutilization permutilization is simply trying to put the highest oxidized carbon at the top of the molecule so permutilization we are trying to stabilize or in other ways i can say you are trying to stabilize a molecule a molecule is not stable now we are trying to stabilize a molecule you do two permutilization whereby this one we imagine this one was here then hydrogen was here what do you do you do permutilization whereby first and foremost you take the hydroxyl the or you take the hydrogen you bring it but down up then you take this one which was here you put it but down then you exchange this one and this one let's let's see let's see let me check if there is permutilization here but i doubt Let me check here. No. No. Ah, uh, there's no permutilization. I think that is all talk about permutilization. Or if you want to talk about it, just try to remind me about permutilization. But what I can try to emphasize is on fisher fisher projection what you see is what you place on the projection the perspective of a drawing of what you see 
is what you draw. on the actual image and what you have to remember is that the highest oxidized carbon has to be always on top then you have to take note of this earlier and avant before and behind you have to take note of this they're going to guide you And this is the simplest projection. And this is the simplest, simplest projection you will ever have. Are there questions? Are there questions? Uh, I didn't really understand um, the projections you were talking about in the oxidation. I think I'm lost there. Okay. Can I do this? Can I can I do the Fisher projection before I I start the coup? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I think I will do that. Then I'll try to ask from you. I'll send something. I'll send projection. Then try to just try to answer. Then give me the responses. Then I can be correcting you as you'll be waiting for me to to come and clarify to you guys. Is it fine? <clears throat> Is it fine? Yes, it's okay. Okay, uh, it's fine. So, what I wanted to conclude on this is, is that I wanted to talk about uh, isomer of monosaccharide, of which, since I have explained everything, now I'm going to just mention them. Fructose and glucose, these are isomer of what? I said isomer of what? Function. You should always remember this. These are isomer of functions of which they, they, they carry different function, which is acid or acetone. Glucose and galactose. These are what? I said these are epimere. And epimere, I said these are two isomer with different configuration of atom. About one of several asymmetric carbon atom present on their, on their configuration. That is glucose and lactose. Oh, sorry, glucose and galactose. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Glu glucose and galactose, they are epimere. And I said epimere, these are isomere with different configuration of atom. Then galactose and mannose, these are diastromere. And why did I say it about diastromere? I emphasize this when starting. Uh, what did 
Did I say about Dell Sumi? Dell Sumi, these are non superposable. And not, not mirror images. Are they superposable? Sorry, superposable, but not mirror images. That's to me. Then I talked about a nantomer. A nantomer, these are two manuals. When you join two manuals or you compare two manuals, we say two manuals when you, jo when you compare them, they qualify to the definition of a nantomer. Which is which is a stereoism that are non superposable and mirror images. They are mirror images. So I'll repeat two manos, they are non somere. Galactose and manos, these are diastromere. Glucose and galactose, they are epimere. Fructose and glucose, the isomer, a function of isomer, isomer de function. Is it clear? Guys, don't, don't be, don't be worried, you do stereochemia again with daddy, so but you will just I'm sure I will just be reading this. He will not give you you not give you examples of what I was trying to give you. I I was giving you this for the sake that I saw a question in one of your exam exam papers. I think if you go through if you go through your exam papers, exam questions on that link I had sent. There are certain question I saw it. So I, I thought of go going through because as at school the time we were learning this were never taught. Am I clear? Yes. Oh it's not clear. Is it clear or it's not clear? Sava Savapa. And and in first time we will have my divinango. So even me at first in, in my first place, I never used to get this thing. But ya pamanji finankara mood. Because our it's it's because of constant revision. As they say, revision is a heart. Is a heart of writing or art of recording things. So I've, I've done it many times. Vinankala So uh, it can also work to you if you revise the thing. Otherwise, you focus. Nothing is hard. Then I'll talk about Fisher. I'll just arrange a certain thing, talk about Fisher. But on the next school, we're going to look at structure cyclic uh, representation de Torin. Then we are going to do, yeah, on structure cyclic, we're going to look at uh, mutual rotation. Then we're going to do, after that, representation of the torrent. We're going, after that, we're going to look at uh, uh, chemical and physical properties of glue seed. Then the last and not on the list, nomenclature. And so you can do a bit of research of 
physical properties or any the one you feel like revising then i'll urge you to study in french when you go back study in french yeah just check on page 90 96 yeah 96 94 in that polycopy that is so sent you are going to find these scenes nansome and kirari then you start a little bit of imagining yeah are there anything questions Ah, don't know, there should be a message here on chat. Are there questions? Hello? No questions. No questions. Is it clear? I think for my part, I'll just require constant revision for this. Otherwise, uh, I've gotten the general idea. Yeah, we need a lot of revision, but it's clear. Others? Yes, just revisions that is needed, I think, because, yeah, the general idea has been gotten. Yeah, okay. I'm going to send about two, two or three more years. You can try to, to solve. Then you can send me before you sleep. Yeah, then if there's anything, but I'll, I'll repeat on projection deficient. I'll just prepare something to, to talk about Graham, Newman, then Fisher. Fisher is the last projection. Uh, if there are any concerns, yeah, my, my, my concern, oh, I've got a concern as well. My concern is if, if you learn something, if I talk about monosaccharide, go and look for structures. You, you see how certain how structures differ. I liked one of the guys, I won't mention the name, came back to me asking me about the, the same thing, my structures and likes, he researched. You know, that's how you learn things. When I, when I talk about fructose, fructose, galactose, lactose, you have to go and see them. But me, I'll, I'll, I'll mainly talk about the main thing which I'll, I have to emphasize. Just go and see them. When you get back to me, yeah. Okay, guys. I've got another meeting to attend to. 23 hours. Let me just rest a little bit. Otherwise, thank you for your participation. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank you also. Yeah, if, if, if there's anything, get back to me. I'm always available. But uh, Muzuwa, I sleep in the, the whole day I sleep. I wake at night. So if you if you see that I don't answer in the during that time, just know I'm asleep. But at night I will definitely respond to your questions or queries whenever you ask me. <laughs>